Hey guys, what's happening? Thanks for tuning in, coming back and watching. I appreciate it. I hope you're having a super awesome day. And I'm just gonna admit it right now, this video is a tease. I'm sorry. Um, I'm just giddy as a schoolgirl. I am so excited because I've been playing with the Luminar 4 Beta. And of course, I'm a guy that likes to replace skies. Now, I, I do it because I like the art of it. I like creating something uh, that I imagined. However, I'm of the opinion that if you're trying to pass that off as real, that's a bit deceptive. And so whenever I post photos with a new sky, I prefer to say, hey, I put in a new sky. It didn't really look like that. Personal preference, that's me. There are people who are purists and would never take advantage of that um, option in photography. And there are people like me that like to do that kind of stuff because it's art and it's a fun, expressive way to just you know craft your vision. And I'm definitely on that side of things. You may have seen previous videos I've done about sky replacement this method and sky replacement that method. And you know they work uh, depending on the photo and they can take a few minutes. But you're here because Luminar 4, or now has the AI sky replacement filter. And to be clear, I am not going to show you the filter in use. I'm not showing you the user interface and I'm not showing you Luminar 4. I'm just showing you before and after photos that I've edited in Luminar 4 with the sky replacement filter. And the reason why I do not want to show you the software right now is because it is in beta. Um, people are asking, hey, how come other people have it and I don't? It's in beta, so beta testers have it, and the images that you see shared that are edited in Luminar 4 are done with uh, folks that have a beta copy. I don't wanna share any user interface uh, screens or any of that stuff, simply because it may change. Things are not locked down, and you know we're in mid-September, and it's supposed to be sometime in November, I think, that it launches, so it's a, you know, it could be two months away. So I don't wanna uh, jump the shark, so to speak. I just wanna take it easy. And I want to show you the results you can get. So let's dive into it. Here's photo number one, an afternoon in Vernazza, Italy, and a sunset in Vernazza, Italy. I will tell you, using this now, um, believe me, I've used it a lot since I got the beta. Um, it's effectively like two clicks to get a sky replaced. It is simply amazing. And um, I will say it doesn't work perfectly on every single photo. And there are times when you need to do some massaging but wow, I mean, I'll show you a couple more examples where it really figured out where the sky is and just bam, it put it in there. So you can tell from there to there, I've also made other color adjustments. Um, I took advantage of a lot of things I like to do in Luminar, which is add color filters, shift colors and light around. And part of it to me is if you have a photo like this where everything's pretty well lit, it's obviously a daytime photo. This was like, you know, four or five in the afternoon or something. And if I'm trying to sell it as a sunset, so to speak, I've got to adjust the tones and colors and you can still do that easily. This photo took me about five minutes. So there, hopefully that gives you an idea of how easy it is. Let's jump on. This is a photo from Copenhagen. This old car was out and I put a new sky on it. And wow, look at that. Now look at this, look at these windows. It's a white foggy morning, right? The sky uh, replacement has gone through these windows. I mean, look at that, that is sick. Look at the how, uh, how well it's gone behind these, um, the, oop, I'm drawing on this thing, um, how it's gone behind, behind these wires. Look how well it is along the edges of the building, but mostly, like it figured out the windows, even this little spot here, it figured out where all the windows are in this car, and it stuck a new sky in. I mean, and that's like one click. You stick a sky in, and you're like, hey, I got a new sky. Um, and then of course I went in, um, there we go, we gotta get that a little higher. Um, I went in and made adjustments to the photo. I think I don't have that set, yeah, there we go. Um, to, to further enhance the colors, etc. But I went from that to that new sky in one click, including through the windows. I did nothing special. It was that easy and that quick. Let me show you another one. Um, a uh, ho-hum foggy afternoon on the Oregon coast and a beautiful sunset on the Oregon coast. One more time, ho-hum, beautiful. Ho hum, beautiful. Let me zoom in again because I want you to see this stuff. Um, it's picking this up between the branches and I've got a better example of that even, but it's getting the light in between these branches. Over here, it's getting these clouds kind of in between these branches and that sort of thing. Um, this is crazy next level stuff, my friends. I think the game has changed. Now, again, you may or may not agree with doing this in your photos, totally fine. I'm not telling you you have to do it. I'm not telling you you have to care. I am telling you that the game has changed. This is mind blowing. So take a look at this. 
Loop 360 Bridge here in Austin where I live, five minutes from my house, a long exposure on a dreary day, and I, again, quick sky replacement, which was instantaneous, and then some color shifts and that sort of thing. You can also, by the way, move the sky up and down the image. I should point out real quick, all of the skies that I'm using on these photos come included in Luminar 4. However, if you're asking, hey Jim, can I use my own skies? Yeah, you sure can. I've done that as well. I didn't include any in this video, but you bet you can include your own skies. So if it's sunset and there's a beautiful sky outside right now, hit pause, run out there and shoot this sky because if you don't already have your own sky photos, I suspect you're gonna want some. So one more time, dreary, ho-hum, winter day, cool long exposure. Personally, I like it. I love light trails and long exposures. Smooths out the, uh, the water, it makes it really glassy, gets those wonderful light trails, but you know, other than the light trails, there's not a lot of visual interest. I picked a sky that had some nice orange in it that plays off the orange and yellow and red that's in the lights, um, and then made some other color shifts. So instantaneous sky replacement like that. And by the way, you can see these um, towers here. They're still there in my photo. They did not, it, the photo didn't, uh, excuse me, the sky did not drop on top of things and figured out. It's even got these uh, radio towers way in the distance. So it's figuring out um, some crazy amount of stuff and taking care of business. Let me show you this one. This was a mind blower. I stuck this in Luminar 4 and I was like, no, nah, there's no way this is gonna work. This is my original. I shot in England a couple of years ago, out on a little walk in Southern England. Just a cool tree. I haven't done anything to the photo. I need to remove those upper left branches. But regardless, that's the, uh, the base photo. That's the sky replacement photo. Look at this, my friends. Look at this stuff. Those clouds are in between and behind those branches. If you're not impressed with that, uh, you know, I don't know what to impress you with. I will note, however, if you look here, it's a little bit brighter on these branches where the clouds are behind it, right there and there, than it is elsewhere. So again, I didn't say it's perfect, but the, the technology behind this is game-changing and mind-blowing. And again, it's beta, so I don't expect it to be perfect, but already, I'm floored. I'm gonna do more videos with some before and after stuff, but I wanted to kinda make a teaser, I guess. I'll get you excited about it. If you have not pre-ordered Luminar 4, it's coming out this fall, you can do so at the link below. Do note, that is an affiliate link. If you purchase off that link, I make a small commission. It costs nothing more to you, but it does provide me uh, some help. Um, and I keep coming back every week with new training videos and more insights and more tips and tricks for you to get better at using Luminar. So it's a fair trade. You save money, I make a couple of bucks. And more importantly, we're all having fun together in Luminar 4. So this is gonna be amazing. You can do some fabulous things. Again, it's beta, so I didn't wanna show the UI and I don't wanna tell you it's perfect because it's not perfect, um, but it's in beta and um, it's looking really good. I'm impressed. I mean, this is only gonna get better. It's mind blowing, I'm excited. I hope you're excited. If you have any questions, comments, feedback, please leave a comment down below. Uh, share, subscribe, tell your friends, call your mom, tell her you're gonna fix up all those photos. Just imagine the possibilities. Um, and believe me, you're gonna be doing a lot of this when you get Luminar 4. So thanks for watching my friends. Look forward to uh, uh, chatting with you in the comments down below and I'll see you soon. Have a great day, take care, thanks for watching and adios.